In this video, we're going to feature Data Workflow. The Data Workflow component is one of the most powerful parts of Uncork. It allows creators to easily manipulate data and use Excel equations to introduce complex computation into their applications. To start, let's create a new module. From here, I'm going to pull in a data table. A data table is a collection of data in a spreadsheet format. I'll name this DT Data and create a few rows for first name, last name, and age. Next, we need a few rows of data in the spreadsheet. So let's create Kevin Blackwell, Michael Jackson, and John Smith. Great. After saving the data table, now we can pull in the data workflow. On the left-hand side of this column is the toolkit for the data workflow. I.O. is responsible for our inputs and outputs. Gateways are responsible for conditional logic, and tables, arrays, objects, and values contain all of the functionality we can use on various groups of data within our application. First, we're going to drag in an input to pull in data from our data table. In this case, we've already entered a few rows of data manually, but oftentimes the application's been configured to pull data in from third-party services or other Uncork applications. Next, we'll pull in a piece of functionality specific to data tables to create a field. Now I'm going to set up a quick computation to calculate a new field or column called rate. We'll calculate rate using some simple Excel that says if the person's age is less than 23, set the rate equal to 300. If their age is less than 35, set the rate equal to 200. Otherwise, set it equal to 100. We've replicated the entire Excel library with an Uncork, which makes the data workflow component a powerful way to introduce complex computation into our applications. Finally, we'll create an output that adds data to our DT data table, and then we need to name our workflow DWF Rater. Now we can add a button to our application that will trigger the calculation within our workflow. All we'll need to do is change our label name to rate, and then choose the action type to be an event connected to our data workflow. Lastly, we'll drag in a view grid. This will help us display the data from our data table. So we'll give it a name, and then we'll set our input equal to the data table and our display values equal to each column in the table. Now let's save our application and preview it to see our data workflow in action. Now when I click the rate button, the data workflow will instantly add the rate column to our table. Thanks for watching.